right so probably uh, if i have to uh, take that to start with let's say i'm talking about a security just as uh, giving a quick uh, update let's say i'm talking about a security whose current uh, stock price is 2500 the strike price let's say is again uh, 2550 uh, to for a call option and let's say we are uh, saying we are assuming that the risk free rate of uh, return is somewhere around 8% annual and uh, the volatility in the security mentioned by sigma is uh, let's say around 25% and uh, we are talking about a time to maturity of uh, uh, of uh, uh, 0.25 years 3 months time to maturity using these five we have used our uh, black scholes model to compute the price or premium associated with the call option so we have uh, first found out uh, d1 again as a numerical also we can uh, still take it so if these are the five elements that are uh, mentioned for our security i can uh, find out the price or the premium for this uh, call option using two variables called d1 and d2 for finding out d1 we had a formula log s by x plus r plus sigma squared by 2 into t divided by sigma into square root of t this was the formula to find out the d1 value and the d2 value was nothing but d1 minus sigma root t sigma into square root of uh, t this were the values for finding out d1 and d2 and then we were uh, finding out nd1 this was the same thing which we have used uh, for our normal distributor uh, for finding out the price of the option through a uh, black scholes uh, model this nd1 and nd2 in our exam probably he may have to give the direct values for them or he will give a small table for various values of uh, d1 these are the corresponding nd1 values so he may give uh, probably right from 0.06 probably he may give a small table like right from uh, minus 0.1 to plus 0.1 some small table he may give minus 0.1 to plus 0.1 or probably he may give from 0 to 0.1 because the minus sign is Uh, uh, a reflection of the plus sign because of the symmetry in a normal distribution so in a table he may just give the values for 0.01 0.02 for various of these numbers he may give you the corresponding normal distribution values so even if it is for minus 0.06 if you find out for plus 0.06 that's the same that's the same value right uh, all uh, we are uh, looking at let's say if i am trying to find out for uh, nd1 right we'll look at it uh, in the table uh, form also if i am looking at uh, nd1 this is the number if i am looking at uh, nd2 this is the number now we said the price of our call option is nothing but s into nd1 the current spot price into nd1 minus the present value of the strike price so this by e power rt into nd2 so 124 is being looked at as 
the price per this particular call option the premium for this uh, particular uh, call option it is expected to be around 124.82 now why are we talking about this in in case of the discussion on greeks greeks is a concept that is built on the top of this concept itself saying if this changes by some extent if the stock price changes by some extent how would the call option price change if the stock now let's assume that this is 124.82 right if the uh, so let me write it as 124. Let's say 83, rounding it off. Now, if I make this 2501, stock price increases by one dollar or one rupee, whatever it is. Stock price increases by one rupee. The call option price has actually increased by a 17 cents there and another 35. only 52 cents right this is what so what is the sensitivity of your call option price when some of the underlying features change when some of the underlying entries change by what extent is your call option premium changing that is what is the typical a uh, typical output that is given by the greeks so if this is changing there is one greek if this is changing there is one greek if this is changing from 8% let's say the interest rate becomes 8.1% what would be the impact on the call option premium or if the volatility changes from 25% to 26 or 24 what is the impact on the call option premium so the change in each of these is given a different name so the change in the price is initially called as a delta there are two major words delta and gamma both associated with the change in price of the call option because of the change in the price of the underlying security right we'll see what is the difference between those two but these two greeks are more representing the change in the underlying security what could be the impact on the call option or put option when i'm saying call option put option is very easy to find out what is the way i can find out the put option i use call put parity relation right we have used the call put parity relationship as c minus p is equal to s minus x by e power rt so based on that i can find out the value of the equivalent put option the equivalent put option comes out as call price minus the current stock price plus x by e power rt x by e power r t x by e power rt so this is also coming out somewhere around 124.32 only right but now if at all